Hi students, I try in this educational video to technologically introduce the principal plate theories as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Well, the plate as it is depicted by the picture that you see now in this slide can be simply seen as a structural element that the third dimension is negligible compared to the other dimensions. And the third dimension here is the thickness and it's denoted by the letter small h and it can be also denoted by the letter small t. So based on this, the plate can be simply seen as two flat surfaces separated by a certain thickness and the contour of these two flat surfaces can be straight like a square or a rectangle and curved like circle or ellipse. And you can note also that there is a certain middle surface and this middle surface will, will represent the whole plate since the thickness is negligible compared to the other dimensions as I said before. So as its name uh, suggests, the metal surface is located at the metal thickness. Now I will talk about the principal plate theories. Well, we have three principal plate theories. The first one is the thin plate with a small deflection theory. The second one is the thin plate with large deflection theory and the third one is the thick plate theory. For the thin plate with a small deflection theory, the deflection is negligible compared to the thickness and the deformation will induce bending and twisting moments. For the thin plate with large deflection theory, the deformation induces in-plane stresses plus bending and twisting moments. And for the thick plate, the deflection is induced by shear deformation. And I will talk in depth and I will explain in depth each uh, plate theory in next videos. That's all for this educational video. Please mention all your remarks and suggestions in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.